All right, so it's time for part two of the shard opening video here. So uh, I'm still undecided if I'm actually going to go through the process of editing both of these together or if I just want to release them as two separate videos. I'm probably going to do it as two separate videos. But anyways, let's get started. We're going to pop the remaining 50 shards on my account because i've been pulling really well today and it would be really satisfying to to get another legendary out of this um because that's really what i'm going for at this point on my account so let's get started we're gonna kick it off with all rares that's what we're doing and we are okay not a great start i'm oh i'm a little a little sad a little sad about that one, not going to lie. Um, let's see what we get here. There we go. Wooji. Okay. Oh, Lady Quillen. Another Scabrius. And, oh, High Katoon. Interesting. Okay. Um, I don't know that... I don't know much about Lady Quillen, to be honest. What do we got? Um, yeah, not too sure how that's going to work into my account i feel like i've heard good things about wuji but i've never looked into them myself um block buffs is good for hydra perfect veil and counter attack on this champion um without an extra turn this is really weak i mean perfect veil and counter attack pull First of all, that doesn't make sense. So you're going to make it so you cannot be targeted and then put a counterattack on yourself. That doesn't make sense as in, in, in a kit. Um, and there's no, like, you're a self-buffer, but no turn after that. Like, no extra turn. That doesn't make sense to me either. Um... Oh, yeah, not, I don't think uh, I don't think Wuji's gonna find their way into my in my roster at all. Um, all right, so oh, come on, gold, let's go, let's go. Oh. Hey, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Yes, yes, Nishak. That is a great, great pull for my account. I have been in need of a bomb champion. Uh, Nishak brings a lot of utility. Uh, I mean, obviously bombs. Uh, we got decreased attack, more bombs. And then uh, the poisons that, that, that they can bring. Yeah, Nishak is, is a monster in the arena. This is a great pull. Oh, and it's Skinwalkers. I, I, uh, I could really use some help on Skinwalkers. Um faction wars so i think this is a really great pull for my account uh especially for bommel in general that's that's gonna give me kind of the damage kick that i need to uh to get through bommel so um oh man that is that is really really good all right well how many i got 20 left uh i feel like i all right let's see where we're at in the tournament Let's see where we're at in the tournament. All right. So we got the next book. <gasps> we almost caught the guy I said I couldn't catch. We almost caught the guy I said we couldn't catch. Oh! <laughs> Here's the thing. If we go for this guy and I pull two straight 10 pulls of rares, I don't pass him. <laughs> And I'm 63 behind him. Um, oh, man. Oh, what's the mercy at? Uh, three. Because <laughs> I just pulled the Nishak. 20 shards. Uh, we're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it. Make him for the content. For the content, we're going for it. Here we go. That's a good start for the tournament perspective. I don't think I'm going to get another legendary. Would love it if I could. Ooh, a second Vergus. I actually could use that. That might finish out my um, faction guardians. 
All right, last 10 pull. Here we go. I would. Oh, good. Uh, got another. <gasps> uh, Jag Bone Saw. He's the new champion. Um, his kit was underwhelming to me. I like this concept of the 25% chance of repeating the skill. This is what kind of what um, Fushan does, I think. Um, so I kind of like that concept, especially for a, a turn meter stealer. I wish it was more than 10%. Like, I, I mean, 25% chance for this to hit is pretty low. If this was maybe 15, well, no, because that puts it on the same scale as, as, um, Newt. I don't know. So, um, damage from the first, and for each debuff transferred. If this, I don't know that anyone's done an analysis on how hard this hits, though. Like, if this hits hard with, with the debuff concept, then, um, Taking two ramp from the target, placing them on all enemies. Damage from the second hit increases by 5%. I mean, if this hits hard, that's great. I just don't know how, how powerful this is. I haven't seen enough reviews on it. Attack all enemies before attacking removes all buffs from all enemies. Damage increases by 5% for each buff removed. Like, this, this feels like it could be Seer without the downside. If that's the case, then I think it's great. Um, the, at the start of their turn, getting increased accuracy and increased crit damage is really, really strong. So you only need to build this, this character to 70% crit damage. Um, and they <clears throat> will increase their accuracy by a ton. So you don't need to build them like too crazy. At the end of this champion's turn places a 30% decreased crit crit rate debuff and a 25% decrease crit damage buff on the enemy with the highest crit damage for one turn. And that's a really valuable ability too. I could see this guy for people that run seer teams, depending on how hard these hit, right? I could see this kind of filling out the role. Cause like I like, I ran a seer arena team for a while and I felt like, the problem is, is that I just debuffed all my guys too. Um, but you have to do that because if you're not, I don't, I don't know. This is this might be a good go second nuker, depending on 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 how hard the abilities hit. Uh, I'll have to do a little bit of research, but still, that's a huge pull on the very end there. That's a great way to end the video. Thank you for watching part two. I I made out like crazy uh, on on this two times event, so. Um, anyways, let me know how your guys' pulls go. Pulls went down in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe. I I always felt like I would never ask those questions and never you know beg people to like like and subscribe subscribe my videos. But I'm really enjoying the content that I'm making and and it's it's giving me fulfillment. And I would love to be able to share it with more people. So um the best way to do that is to leave a comment because for algorithm purposes that's going to get other people to come see it uh and then liking uh as well the subscribing part i guess you don't have to do that so much but if you can like and comment hey that's going to help my algorithm and uh, uh, boost me up on the algorithm so anyway thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next video